Hey friends, welcome back. We have perfect holiday gift guide weather. There is a lovely dusting of snow outside. I've already begun my holiday shopping. And so what I want to share with you today is my top book recommendations for the gardener on your list. One of my favorite gifts to give and receive is the ultimate of combinations, books and chocolate. So with that in mind, I have selected a variety of my favorite garden books for all the different types of gardeners on your list and a corresponding uh, bar of delicious chocolate to keep them through the winter months. The first gardener on my list this year is the Urban Farmer. For that special gardener in our lives, we have Grow More Food. I always like to give a recommendation from a local author. Um, these two gentlemen are here in Seattle and they own a company called Seattle Urban Farm Co. This is a fantastic book. Now, this is a book that I would say you are going to grow with. So someone who has more than just ventured in to growing their own produce, this is for the person that wants that little urban farm. It is packed full of super valuable information. This can be used for someone who's maybe in their first couple seasons. There's some great charts in here in terms of um, planting needs, depth, fertilization. But for the gardener that is really getting into it, um, it really takes a deeper look into cover crops, um, soil testing. It's just a wealth of information that you can go back to time and time again. So for this beautiful book, I have paired with it a delicious bar of Be Happy Milk Chocolate with Honeycomb and Crunchy Caramel because as we all know, without bees, we do not have our gorgeous produce. The next book on my list is for a gardener that I like to call the Tinker. This is someone who loves putzing around in their garden, finding those brand new uh, plants, cultivating their own space and really giving it that personal touch. Um, for them, I recommend, recommend A Year at Brandywine Cottage. This is a beautiful book by David Culp. I have uh, really gone through this dozens of times already and I will keep coming back to it. What I love about what David has written here is he is such a beautiful and gracious teacher of gardening. It really feels as though he meets each gardener exactly where they are. This book feels like an invitation into his own personal world and that peek behind the curtain of kind of how I want to be in my garden. It's filled with personal stories, um, plant knowledge, foraged floral arrangements, container design, and even recipes from his kitchen. Um, I cannot recommend this book highly enough. It has been one of my top resources this year. And to go along with it, we have another personal favorite, a beautiful velvety dark chocolate. Next gardener on my list is The Dreamer. And for them, I have another personal favorite. This is the book Dreamscapes by Claire Tackix. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. This is the perfect book for the lover and appreciator of all gardens. When it's the middle of winter and you can't be outside, this is it. You're going to grab your coffee, a cup of tea, a cozy blanket, obviously your chocolate, and you are going to dive in. Claire's photography is nothing short of magical, and I am really not sure how she does it, but each shot feels like you are right with her in the garden. I also think she is an absolute master at using natural light to highlight the best qualities in each garden. I know that the dreamer on your list is going to be bananas for this book. And because we have such a beautiful ethereal book going on here, I have paired it with Earl Grey Tea. I mean, I cannot get over the wrapping. This is just, it just speaks to that dreamy landscape that Claire is so fantastic at capturing. The next gardener on my list is The Floral Obsessed. And for them, I have selected another one of my personal favorites. This was actually one of the first books I bought when I was getting into growing my own cut flowers. This is The Cut Flower Garden by Florette. This is a resource I come back to time and time again. 
there's a lot to be said for growing with an end result in mind. And the color combinations and floral arrangements in this book make me so excited to plan for the season ahead and how I want to bring those florals into my own home. It is the perfect inspiration book as someone is perusing the seed catalogs and getting ready to plan their 2023 cut flower garden. Of course, a gorgeous little pairing that is going to highlight all of these amazing dahlias that are right on the front here with a little gold sparkle through them. The next type of gardener on our list is actually one that is also a foodie. And for them, I have this beautiful book, Joshua McFadden. It is an incredible, cookbook called Six Seasons. This is actually, this was originally a gift from my brother. It is perfect for someone who is deep into the veggie growing world. It's such a treat to be given new inspiration for not only recipes where you can use your produce, but it's not just using it. It is literally making that produce an absolute star. Joshua McFadden takes you on a seasonal journey through the garden and how to really capture the most of that bounty, bringing together multiple recipes using a star ingredient. It is a sublime treat for someone who loves to appreciate veggies at the peak of their freshness. And of course I had to pick up this stunning red packaging to highlight this well-deserved James Beard Foundation Book Award. The next gardener on my list is actually the Little Gardener, and for them, I have selected one of my favorite books, Miss Maple's Seeds. When I am on the hunt for a good children's book, I look for a few things. I want great illustrations, I want a beautiful message, and I selfishly want to also enjoy the story too. This book ticks every single one of those boxes. This is the story of Miss Maple who gathers the forgotten seeds, cares for them, and teaches them everything they know on their way to becoming the big, beautiful plant they will one day become. And when the time comes at the end of the book, she sends them off with the knowledge that even the grandest of trees once had to grow from the smallest of seeds. And because I think a children's book needs a pairing of a ridiculously large bar of chocolate, I picked up Tony's Chocolate. All right, friends, those are some of my favorites. Hope you enjoy. Happy shopping.